Biceps Brachii Anatomy The biceps brachii is a two-headed muscle that lies in the upper arm between the shoulder and the elbow. You can see here the long head of the biceps and the short head of the biceps. Origin and Insertion the long head of the biceps tendon arises from the supraglenoid tubercle. The biceps tendon is an intraarticular structure. The tendon also arises from the superior aspect of the glenoid labrum, slightly posterior. The long head of the biceps then passes underneath the transverse humeral ligament in the bicepital groove between the lesser and the greater tuberosity of the humerus. The area where the biceps tendon passes through the bicepital groove is a common site of bicepital tendonitis and anterior shoulder pain. The long head of the biceps tendon lies between the two tendons of the supraspinatus and subscapularis muscles. Occasionally, the biceps tendon dislocates from the groove, such as with subscapularis tendon rupture. Rupture of the long head of the biceps tendon may occur at the bicepital groove, and the muscle then moves towards the elbow. It's called Bapai muscle. The short head of the biceps arises from the coracoid process of the scapula. The long and short head then join together and insert into the proximal radius at the elbow region in an area called the radial tuberosity. The biceps tendon insertion footprint is ribbon shaped on the ulnar aspect of the radial tuberosity. Some consider the bicepital aponeurosis to be another insertion for the distal biceps tendon. The bicepital aponeurosis is attached to the deep fascia on the medial side of the forearm proximally. The brachial artery and median nerve is deep to the bicepital aponeurosis with the medial cubital vein passing above it. This area is important in surgery and in written exams. Rupture of the distal biceps tendon. The biceps muscle may become ruptured at its insertion site into the radial tuberosity. The tendon will retract up into the upper arm, causing a bump or bapai deformity. Nerve supply. The biceps muscle is innervated by the musculocutaneous nerve, which runs under the biceps. The lateral antibrachial cutaneous nerve originates from the musculocutaneous nerve and lies between the brachialis and the biceps muscle. The musculocutaneous nerve also supplies these two muscles, the coracobrachialis muscle and the brachialis muscle. The coracobrachialis muscle also originates from the coracoid process medial to the shorter head of the biceps. Injury to the lateral antibrachial cutaneous nerve may occur when treating distal biceps tendon rupture with surgery. When treating the humeral shaft fracture with an iron rod, the use of anterior screws distally in the humerus may cause injury to the musculocutaneous nerve. Injury to the nerve result in loss of sensation along the radial aspect of the forearm. Biceps function. Function of the biceps muscle is to supinate the forearm and flex the elbow. Herniated disc at C4, C5 level will affect the C5 nerve root, which will affect the function of the biceps muscle. And this is the sensory area of C5 nerve root involvement.
The biceps reflex is primarily C5. Elbow flexion is a function of C5 and C6 nerve root. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.